Dayton Hamvention 2025 Alpha Antennas. Steve's going to talk to us. I have a question first before yes. we get started. So, yep. on my Friday shopping videos, I feature different stores here and there, and I had yours on my one two weeks ago. Okay. And you have a thing called, it's not called make me an offer, but it's like... It suggest a price. Suggest a price. Right. Okay. What is that? So the suggest a price is make an offer. We actually take the suggest a price okay. one step farther though. Okay. Instead of calling it make an offer, which is like, oh, we're just gonna look at your offer and either accept it or not. Mm -hmm. um, we do more. We track trends for the suggesting prices. For the last two years, we've been doing that. You and track trends for suggested prices. That's right. Okay. And so okay. the tracking of the trends for the suggested prices allows us to accept that price that is submitted. Okay. Um, and it also allows us to, on you know, basically for marketing purposes, keep pricing in a realm that people expect. Huh. Um, we're not going to be the boss out there saying you must pay this price. Okay. We're, we're not going to be the ones that say this is the baseline price and everybody out there is going to, we're going to be the standard. No, it's going to be more normal people okay. interacting with y'all. Okay. Interesting. That is, I found that and I was like, I'm going to ask Steve that question at Hamvention. So good. Thank yeah. you for that. First person has asked that. <laughs> nope, nobody has Nobody's ever asked, asked that. There we go. But we get, so, you know, suggest a price. Yeah. And okay. Sometimes we'll get below here, hey, I'm a veteran on fixed income, I'm wheelchair oh, bound. Oh, yeah. Um, and you know that's it's just another way we can get back gotcha okay so link will be in the description below but let's talk about what you've got here today so sure okay well we'll start out which we normally do not start out with the military antenna systems i okay. uh, usually save that to the end uh, this here is a 1.8 megahertz uh, through 440 megahertz antenna system okay uh, this is for digital modes so if you're in the federal or military sector, you may want to contact us about that. It's called the du dual pole. Dual du pole. Is, dual that the, pole. is that the entire length of it? Correct. That's okay. the entire length of that system. Okay. Um, this here is the mini loop. The mini loop goes from 1.8 megahertz to 1 gigahertz. Um, and every single ham radio operator is going, uh, what? <laughs> it's not for y'all. This is for military and federal. And if, if that's what you are, that's what you can call us. And, talk to us about. Gotcha. Now, on to the amateur radio type things, which is, uh, hey, we want to talk to the world. <clears throat> we just don't want to do regional MCOM. Uh -huh. uh, and so magnetic loops, 100 watts, every single one of them that we build. Wait, yes, we actually do build more than one magnetic loop over that company. Okay. So this magnetic loop here is 25% uh, larger in diameter than our second loop, which is an MCOM loop. So this 10 to 80 meter loop um, is its own animal. The second animal in the world of loops we call the MCOM loop because it operates on the MCOM frequencies, VHF, UHF, and 15 through 40 meters. Okay. This little item here is, I mean, it's a, it's a great price. You go online at alphaantenna.com, you're gonna see a, a price that's actually affordable for a magnetic loop. Okay. We've uh, created tripod legs that pull out of the magnetic loop so that you can mount it on your own tripod. Okay. We'll go ahead and lay it down flat here. <laughs> well, it should actually sit. Yes, because okay. it has the wings out here, the wing tips, that enables it to be just set there on the table without the legs. This is 100 watts as well. Again, alphaantenna.com, you can get all the details there. This is the latest VHF UHF mobile antenna. It comes with a 14 and a half feet of coax, the mag loop. Uh, the, sorry, nah, it's a magnetic mag base. He's <laughs> used to saying mag loop. <laughs> yeah, I am for the last five seconds or whatever it was. Um, you can go ahead and pull this up when you're going into the oh, yeah. uh, garage and, and you're good to go. That's 440 and uh, Will that cover GMRS meters. frequencies? This is not. This is only for the VHF and UHF frequencies, okay, not but the GMRS. A lot, a lot of times I get asked on, on dual band antennas if they'll extend high enough on the UHF side to cover GMRS also. You're gonna have a 2.8 SWR there. Okay, so not great. Not great, Yeah, it will usable, work. Usable, but not great. Usable, but not great. Okay. Yes. Okay. Correct. Good um, deal. Another option that we put out mm -hmm. just very recently is the UHF, VHF six meter tri-band, yes, okay. 
uh, base and repeater antenna that's eight and a half feet tall. Okay. It has a lot of gain on two meters and 440. Uh -huh. And it even has gain on six meters. It has its own radial set. There's three radials at the base here. Okay. And if we move over here, we have the amazing Hextenna. This is the winner of many awards. Mm -hmm. And if you're contesting, you will win the contest with this. <laughs> I know that uh, you, you yourself has experienced I have, that. Yes, I have used this antenna on the beach in Galveston. It worked phenomenally. It was, it was a great performer. So what we did is we, there's no balance, no unends, no losses. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a true dipole at 50 ohms due to the angle of these elements. And this is a new centerpiece since the one I got from you. It is. This is a carbon fiber infused polymer that is of the gray colorish that uh, enables the heat to not collect but dissipate better. Okay. It has through bolts all the way all the way through. You had an image a moment ago of the back side. Here's the front side. Mm -hmm. Those bolts go all the way through with nuts that hold the sections together. This is the vertical element. You move one of these to here and take the other off. You have your vertical element. And right there on the side is where the counterpoise goes for that vertical element. Right. Uh, okay. Yes, it's a tuned counterpoise. So it's a completely tuned system. The actual manual for it, actually the manual for all of our systems are just the size of a postcard. Very easy to deploy. I had an individual come up and said, Sometimes they'll have a little contest. He can deploy his in 90 seconds <laughs> on 20 meters. That's always fun to try. Yeah, and uh, I'm, my record is about four and a half minutes. <laughs> He's a little younger than me. Um, we have the off-center fed dipole system. Uh, this is an off-center fed vertical dipole. What's interesting is this particular sweep, you'll notice it has the same characteristics as an off-center fed dipole. Well, the reason that is is because it's an off-center fed dipole for <laughs> vertical deployments. Uh, due to the arrangement of the elements, it is directional, as you see from these two images here. Mm -hmm. In physical world, here's what happens. We put the ballon in the center. We've got one half of the antenna here. The other half of the antenna is up at the top, and it has an envis element. So ah. a grounded counterpoise, an envis element, and a vertical up at the top. Okay. Now here's where the magic happens. There's three elements here. One, two, three. What just happened? Well, just like, an, uh, just like a fan dipole, here we have one element of the mm -hmm. fan dipole, another fan element. Then we have a third length. These two combined provide a third electrical length. So there's three legs here that, electric, uh, that, that can be chosen and selected okay. out, of the, out of the ballon. So, the Yagi is the last cream of the crop oh, yeah. up there. It's a 2 through 20 meter Yagi. Mm -hmm. uh, goes in a 26 inch bag, full legal limit. Mm -hmm. um, everything except the boom goes in that 26 inch bag. Use okay. the boom as a walking stick if you wish. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by though. <laughs> Don't forget, click subscribe and click like right here. <laughs> right, right. So, alfantenda.com. Yeah. Always enjoy talking to y'all. Thanks, Steve. You bet. <laughs>